Oh man, where am I even meant to start here? There's even more players than the last one that we did. We'll start with a choice that nobody can argue with. Straight in. What's the crack lads? We're back with the top 30 meta midfielders ranked in our tier list. If you missed the other video, make sure and check it out and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. All right, we're back lads. This time we're taking a look at the top 30 plus. We've got about 34, 35 players in here of the best midfielders, the best meta midfielders. A couple of surprising choices in here, but we are going to go straight in. Now I'm going to just pop up my two, like no argument. There's literally to be no argument in the chat or in the comments in this one. Because I am popping in Vieira and Makalele 100%. There is no doubt in my mind that they're the two best DMFs. Vieira, I think, is the best DMF pound for pound in the entire game. His long legs, his abilities, once you give him a couple of skills, he can be like the total package in midfield. If you've got him with Makalele, brilliant. But we'll get into that as well. There's a couple of players that can slot in. I mean, Davids is kind of a choice in there as well that you could... I've played so much with Makalele that I just love him so much. If you've played that with Davids, you would probably replace him or you could have him on par. For now, we're going to put Davids in A. So we do have a couple of like other players that we can just get through quite easily, right? Ambrosini, we're going to pop him into C. Nothing wrong with these cards, man, but you can compare Ambrosini. When you're doing a list of the top 30, there is no room for like, you know, talking about it at length and complicating it. It's like, what players are the meta? There's five players going to be at the meta, the tippity top in S level and then anything below that is going to be ranked as such. Just a quick intermission, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe, we're going to continue to post daily content, let's get back to the video. I'm also going to pop in, now this was meant to be, the card is wrong here, this is actually big time showtime special event De Young. I'm going to pop him in here, I haven't played a massive amount with De Young, but from talking to people and also watching people play with him, and of course, coming up against him, he is a tricky opponent to have as well uh, in the in, in your squad if you're coming up against him. So I definitely do think the Young should be there. I would also probably put in, just to kind of quick fire these off, I would probably put in Musiala in there. I would probably put Beckham here. I'd probably put Barella into B... Mm, probably put Barella there, Gilberto Silva there, and Pedri there. And then there, there are kind of choices that I think you could argue with. Um, Lorente is just a standard card, but a lot of people are using him. He is an absolute beast. And I'm going to join him in the C rating there with Mycon. Now, a lot of people will, will, might debate this one and say, oh, but Mycon is really a right back. The same can be said for Guerrero here, who I'm going to put up into the B rating here. One of the best center midfielders in the game. Mycon is the best, one of the best right midfielders in the game. I will also probably put him on par with Park Ji Sung, the two of them there, and Pop Stevie G, who I think is one of the weirdest players in the game that people use. I have never conceded a goal against Stevie G in all the times I've come up against him. He seems clunky on the ball, so he can't go any higher into that B tier. But Q the Liverpool fans saying, yeah, you know, our legend should be up in B or A. If you've played with Gerrard and he's a beast for you, please do let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to throw in Labotka uh, in here as well. Um, I think that he's a beastly player. Uh, if you did get him, this version of him, especially with how you train him up, was an absolute monster. And these two budget boys here, you've got Sangara, who I'm going to pop in here, and you've got Sakaria, who I'm going to pop in here as well. I think they could move up into the A rating, but we'll see how we're going, okay? Now, also... This is going to be probably a very controversial one, lads, but I'm going to put Son Krasen, attacking midfielder, the free version that you got, into the A tier. Now, people might ask me, why do I put him in there? Well, I rate him as highly as this special edition Neymar. Stats don't always tell the full picture. And I am telling you that Son Krasen, and the video coming out if it's not out already, Son Krasen is keeping a lot of my top guys out of the squad because I just, I'm just able to do everything with him. His dribbling, his touches, everything, shooting, passing, brilliant. So I would also probably pop in Ribery into that there as well. Ribery is more of kind of like a left-sided player. He's phenomenal, absolutely brilliant in the game. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because there is a couple of players in here that I'm going to have to make a couple of adjustments to. Zico, I think, is going to pop in here. Let me know if you guys want me to kind of also rank him at the top here because I would put Zico near the top here. Um, I know some people love Bex, lo some people are going to love Stevie G, but let me know. These are just kind of like, if you're in S tier, you're in S tier. There's no really like, you know, S1 or S2 that would be here, or A1 would be Davids, and A6 would be uh, Ribery. But let me know if you guys want me to do that. I can kind of tidy up the ranking a little bit if you would like that. Uh, I think Pirlo, just because he's just most complete card in the game, yeah, I think Pirlo has to go into the S tier. I mean, would he be... 
it's tough because this is where debate comes in. This is where debate comes into it. It is tough. It genuinely is tough to, to kind of like, how would I say it? It's tough to kind of like, when you, when you have a player that's your favorite player, you are personally going to be invested in that card, like Vieira and Makalele. They're the two on the first names on my team sheet every time. Um, but a lot of personal kind of stuff comes into it then. You know, I know Frankie de Jong, the big time Showtime, people love him. Also with Kimmich, I would probably put him there, but I know some people might have him in the eight, S tier. It's tough. Schneider, I would probably pop in there. Just, I've seen a few people use him in the top, top echelon of the rankings. But for me, uh, I mean, man, you know what? I'm going to pop this guy back down here and I'm going to put Schneider up here. I think that's probably fair and it's probably the fairest thing to do. We'll probably put Sadarf in here. We'll also put Guti right up here at the top upper tier of the Bs. I'm also going to put Bellingham, who I think is one of the best players in the game. Oh, man, I don't know. This is a tough one. This is a very, very tough one. Ah, oh, man. Now I'm kind of torn what to do, man. Now I'm kind of torn what to do because I think Bellingham is just such a monster. He's so good, man. Like the three of these players... Do you know what? Even though Neymar is a beast in AMF, I'm going to actually take him out and put him on same par, par as Barella. And uh, I'm going to pop Bellingham up here, boys. I don't know, is that controversial, man? I think that's what I'm going to do. Honestly, I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, Mataus, this is a very old card of Mataus. I'm going to put Rodri here because even though Rodri... No, I'll put Rodri here. Even though Rodri is an absolute beast... There are a lot of cards, I think, now that have kind of like, you know, when you compare him to Vieira, I don't think there's a comparison. Pirlo, De Jong, any of those cards can kind of do a job for you. Um, I just, man, I'm so biased towards Bellingham, though, and San Crassan, and I don't know if they should be an A. Uh, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. I mean, Ribery the same. You know, Ribery's more of kind of a wing attacking base player, so... Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring Ribery down here strictly because I think I'm going to also have him in my attackers tier list video, which is going to be a very difficult one to pick. Um, and I'm going to put Mataus up here. And then that leaves us with two spots in the S tier for the GOATs. And it, it has to go. I mean, I mean, I can't, I can't really... Man, this is, this is a tough one, right? Because I'm going to have to take somebody out of this to pop him up here. And we've got no attacking players in here. So I am tempted to put Bellingham up here. Or I'm, I'm tempted to put Davids up here. I think Davids is on equal par. Or else De Jong, man. This is a very, very difficult one, man. A very, very difficult one. Just this selection here. I think I'm happy enough with the Bs and the As. Or the Bs and the Cs. I'm happy enough with that. I mean, we'll pop Kaka here. Um, we'll pop Declan Rice. I think this card was a phenomenal card at the start of the game when he was for free. Few people are still using him. But I, I think I'll leave him at C and par with Ambrosini and Bex. And then it's just where to put Nedved because I need to have one more into the goat tier. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I can leave it at that and pop him in there. But I am tempted to put up somebody else into attack a midfielder, man. Or into the S tier. Okay, what will I do? What will I do? What will I do? Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm really, really tempted to put Bellingham up there because he is a phenomenal, phenomenal player for me. He's just unbelievable. But the game doesn't really suit that kind of... Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Nedved is going to go here anyway. You know what? I'm going to pop Bellingham up, lads. This is the first big decision I've made, I think, across the defendant meta uh, video that we did and this video. Let me just give a quick glance through this now and make sure that I'm not leaving anybody out that I would like to have further up in the list. Because this is a tough one, man. This is a very, very tough one. Like this version of Pedri unbelievable i mean was amazing for me for the first six months that i had him barella i mean at different times throughout the year was unbelievable all these cards there is there is nothing between them uh at all you know nothing between them at all so mm, i know some people would actually have kaka up here i don't uh yeah i'm gonna leave it at that boys i'm gonna leave it at that i'm happy enough i mean there's 34 players there and I would say that if I had to do this in the morning again, I would probably have a different choice. Bellingham is the one big one that I think is going to be controversial. Because if Bellingham works for you or he doesn't. Bellingham went from being a bust for me to being one of my best players for months. Especially this car that we got on our road to glory in a free spin. So I am kind of a bit blinded by that. But let me know your thoughts, boys. I will be back with another one. Next up is Attackers. And we're also going to have two special videos coming on this type of series as well. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know. Start debating in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Peace.